limits and continuity this is one of the best questions which I have for you it says give necessary and sufficient condition on a and B for the following function to be continuous at x equals to 1 but discontinuous at x equals to 2 so I haven't seen many problems which have these kinds of conditions that is continuous at one point but discontinuous at the other right and we need to find the parameters now that is interesting part now let's see how to do it now the first condition is that we have this function has to be continuous at x equals to 1 so when we say continuous at x equals to 1 that means that the limit of the function so limit when of the function as x approaches 1 from negative side should be equals to limit of this function f of x when x approaches 1 from the positive side so that means lim limit exists and for the function to be continuous this should also be equal to value of function at 1 so only then the function is continuous otherwise the function is not continuous so we'll plug this condition here so we see the function values ax minus b when x is less than 1 that means when we are approaching from the left side right and it is 3x when you are approaching from the right side so if I plug in 1 here we get a times 1 which is a let me write 1 minus b on this limit of the function as x approaches 1 from negative side and it, that should be equal to limit of the function when x approaches 1 from positive side then it'll be 3 times 1, correct? 3 times 1. Or we can write this as a minus b equals to 3 or a equals to 3 plus b. So we get one of the conditions, right? Now we will do the second part. The second part before us is the function should be discontinuous. So we want it to be discontinuous. at x equals to 2 that is what we want now what happens at x equals to 2 when you are approaching 2 from the left side then the value of the function is 3x so that means it is 3 times 2 right and when you are approaching it from the right side then the value should be b times 2 square x is 2 right minus a now this when we say it's discontinuous means this is not equal to so that is the condition right so this is kind of tricky now we can solve for this and say 6 is not equal to 4b minus a now we know a is 3 plus b so we can substitute this value and solve for b so 6 is not equal to 4b minus within bracket 3 plus b and when we open this we get 6 is not equal to 4b minus b is 3b minus 3 and now we can bring 3 this side and becomes 6 plus 3 is 9 is not equal to 3b or dividing by 3 we get 3 is not equal to b so that is the condition for us so now we get closer to our answer so our answer in this case is how do we write our answer is that b is not equal to 3 that is condition number 1 and a is equals to 3 plus b so so we can have many values of a's and b's which are going to satisfy this equation right but the condition is that b should not be equal to 3 that's what we mean and that is what the answer is for example if a is 1 then what is the value of b we can find from here or let's put b value so b is not equal to 3 we can put b as 1 if b is 1 then a is 4 if b is 2 a is 5 but b cannot be 3 it could be 6 7 or whatever 
correct so that is how we need to solve this kind of a question I hope you understand and appreciate that so we have array of values for A's and B's which we can work out from the given conditions but the condition most important is that B cannot be equal to 3 right so if I put B as 1 A will be 4 you can check if I put 4 here right and this as 1 then 4 minus 1 is 3 do you see that and it satisfies the equation if I put B as 2 in that case A will be 5 now if I put 2 A will be 5 5 minus 2 is 3 that satisfies the condition right but if I plug in the value here 5 and 2 then it will not be equal to 6 and that is how we can get our answer so we have an answer which is like this that a is equals to 3 plus b right but b cannot be 3 so we can write sets for a and b like if e, if i write a and b like this then we can give so many values if b is 1 then a is 4 so 4 and 1 could be a good combination right if b is 2 then it is 5 and 2 but we cannot put b as 3 that's what we mean it could be 4 if it is 4 then a will be 7 right so 7 and 4 like this so all possible answers could be written like that but b not equals to 3 so that is the condition a equals to 3 plus b and b not equal to 3 i hope you appreciate and love this thank you